Okay, 1.6, classify polygons. Okay, the definition for polygon is kind of long. I'm going to write it down and then talk about it. A polygon is a closed plane figure with the following properties. It is formed by three or more line segments called sides. So here are some examples. This is a triangle, this is a quadrilateral, a pentagon over here, okay? Each side intersects exactly two sides, one at each endpoint. So basically the sides aren't overlapping each other. They intersect and then they end. So that no two sides with a common endpoint are collinear. So none of these points, no three points here are collinear. There's going to be um, a bend in each, uh, at each vert vertex. All right, sides. The sides are basically these line segments. This is a side, this is a side, these are all sides. Okay. The vertex, the plural of this word is vertices. The vertices are basically the corners. This is a vertex, this is a vertex, vertex, vertex. These are all vertices. Okay. Okay. Convex. Convex. If you have a convex polygon, that means none of the vertices are inside the polygon. So these would all be convex polygons. Okay. Okay. So basically, if all the vertices are facing out, it's convex. On the contrary, a concave polygon looks something like this. You see how one of the vertices is cutting into the polygon? That makes it concave. Okay. An n-gon, an n-gon is a polygon with n sides. So if I say this is a 14-gon, that's a polygon with 14 sides. Or if I say this is a 20-gon, that's a polygon with 20 sides. Okay. Equilateral. If a polygon is equilateral, that means all the sides are congruent. All the sides have the same measure. Remember, this little symbol means congruent. A polygon is equiangular if all of the angles are congruent. Okay. A polygon is regular if it is both equilateral and equiangular. That means all the sides and all the angles are congruent. All right, let's go on to page two. In geometry, a figure that lies in a plane is called a plane figure, okay? A polygon is a closed plane figure with the following properties. It is formed by three or more line segments called sides. This is kind of a repeat of the previous page. page. Each side intersects exactly two sides, one at each endpoint, so that, the, so that no two sides have a, with a common endpoint are collinear. Each endpoint of a side is a vertex of the polygon. The plural of vertex is vertices, that's on the other page also. A polygon can be named by listing the vertices in consecutive order. So for example here, we have A, B, C, D, E, or we have C, D, E, A, B. Both are correct. Okay? Okay, tell whether the figure is a polygon and whether it is convex or concave. This one, because it has a side in the middle, it's not a polygon. Okay? This figure. It is a polygon, and it is convex because all the vertices face out. They point outward. This one has a vertex in the interior, so this is a concave polygon. Okay? All right. So, you guys go ahead and try these two, and then go on to page three. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. Tell whether the polygon is equilateral. 
uh, equiangular or regular. This polygon has eight sides. It is equilateral and equiangular, so it is a regular, and an eight-sided figure is called an octagon. In class, we will actually go over the different names of polygons, okay? All right. The head of a bolt is shaped like a regular, remember regular means equilateral and equiangular, hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. <coughs> the expressions show, uh, shown represent the side lengths of the hexagonal bolt. bolt. Find the length of a side. Alright, so all of these sides are congruent. That means this and this are equal. Okay? So, use the fact that the sides of a regular hexagon are congruent. 4x plus 3 has to equal 5x minus 1. Okay? If I subtract 4x from both sides, this goes away. I'm left with 3 equals um, x minus 1. Then if I add 1, I'll just put this over here, x equals 4. Okay? Then evaluate one of the expressions to find the side length. So we know that x equals 4. So if I plug in 4 here into 4x plus 3, 4 times 4 is 16. Uh, 16 plus 3 is 19. So the length of the side is 19 millimeters. All right. You guys can go ahead and try these two. And that's it for today.